Today we're introducing our basic riser mini mark II. This is our affordable budget friendly copy stand for scanning 35 millimeter or 120 film, whether you're at home, on the go or in the studio. So as the name would suggest, the Basic Riser Mini Mark II is the second generation version of our Basic Riser Mini. And Mini, as the name would indicate, is that really just suggests this is a small copy stand. Uh, it's meant for small cameras, relatively compact cameras and macro lenses, and it's really not intended to scan film formats larger than 120. Um, so as it's currently set up, we actually have a mirrorless crop sensor digital camera with an adapted vintage 55 millimeter macro lens. So this is very much the type of setup that is appropriate for this copy stand. So let's quickly point out the differences between this Mark II version and the original version of the Riser Mini. For one, right when you look at the head, uh, the head actually has a window in the side of it now. This is really borrowed and carried over from our Pro Riser Mark III, our professional copy stand for scanning up to eight by 10 inch film. Uh, this window allows you to take the camera mounting key that's just sa safely and neatly stores at the top of the riser. You slide it into the side of the head and then you mount the camera. Uh, this way, you know, the screwdriver isn't slipping, the hex driver, I should say, isn't slipping. It's more intuitive and a more uh, kind of thoughtful and confident process of attaching and detaching your digital camera. Additionally, we have switched from an aluminum base to a mild steel base. Uh, this is a really solid piece of metal, works really well. But another major improvement with the base is that we have actually uh, laser cut holes into the base where we can bolt on rubber feet. Um, previously, the feet on the Basic Riser Mini could actually peel off if you were too aggressive or, or uh, really too forceful with the stand. These bolted on feet with stainless steel hardware are a significant improvement and we know that you're going to love that. A couple other minor changes, uh, the carbon fiber composite foot which connects the aluminum column to the steel base is thicker and that promotes a little bit more rigidity. Uh, so really just in general, uh, this stand is more stable than the previous version. Uh, it is easier and safer to attach and detach your camera than with the previous model. The feet are improved um, and we know that this is just gonna really help to round out a robust entry-level film scanning kit, whether you're scanning 35 120 film, maybe mounted slides, or some of the smaller specialty formats like 110 or APS. So one potential kit configuration that we know many people are gonna to wanna to put together is really the one I have right here. It's the Basic Riser Mini Mark II. Our light source mini, which is personally my favorite light source we make. Then we have our Basic Film Carrier 35 Mark II with its stabilizing mask. And uh, Cool, so let me show you how this setup would look if we had a camera mounted. So I'm gonna take my mirrorless digital camera, my camera mounting key, and I am gonna line this up and just attach the camera like so. Pretty easy. This is a ball end hex driver, so you can mount at an angle. Once we have the camera safely secured, just put the key back in place where we don't lose it. Adjusting the camera's position is quick and easy. Simply support the camera with one hand and loosen the locking knob on the back. Then it's gonna raise up and down based on where you need it. And once you have it where you need it, just lock it down. Uh, the central column height is 16 inches. So you can really scan up to medium format 120 film with a 70 millimeter or so full frame equivalent lens. And you can scan 35 millimeter film with up to about a 105 millimeter equivalent full frame lens. I'm gonna line up my light source. I've already scanned this roll a few times, so I'm not gonna use gloves. I'm just gonna turn my light on, feed my film into the first frame, turn my digital camera on, dial in my settings, scan, and, and then I'm good to go. Um, so this is a nice, compact film scanning setup. 
and it really offers a solution for many of us who maybe you have a small desk at home or maybe you don't have a dedicated desk at in your home or your office or your apartment really for this kind of stuff anyways maybe you're having to set this up at the kitchen table or on a kitchen counter or the dining room table or uh, I know in some cases people even set up their film scanning rig on the floor to scan because there's truly nowhere else to do it. In situations like these, it's even more imperative that you have a compact setup that's not gonna you know, weigh you down, it's not gonna take up space you might not have really for this kind of equipment. Uh, so in this way, the basic riser mini with the tools shown here uh, really can be a godsend because uh, it can allow you to quickly and easily scan your film, but it's not cumbersome. It's not gonna get in the way of the other things you need to do. If you have any questions about the Basic Riser Mini Mark II, uh, in particular, if you're wondering, hey, will my digital camera and lens combination work with this stand, feel free to use the live chat function on our website. Uh, you can leave a comment here below in the video or give us a call. Our uh, phone number is listed on the website. We'd love to answer that question for you. Um, I will say before we close out today that while the Basic Riser Mini Mark II is a great product and it's at a very affordable price, this really isn't the copy stand for every use case. So when you make your way over to the Negative Supply website, take a look at our range of copy stands. We have the Basic Riser Mini Mark II, we have the Basic Riser Mark III, our Basic Riser XL, and our Pro Riser Mark III. Yes, these are all at different price points, but they also all carry their own feature sets. They have unique strengths that set them apart from the other items. And uh, really, there's not a one size fits all in the catalog. So if you have questions about this, if it seems a little overwhelming, we're here to help. Make sure we guide you in the right direction where you really buy once and buy right based on your needs. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Again, if you have questions, let us know. And in the meantime, shoot some film.